It's happening. The turning point that many thought impossible already has a date and a well-known name. Tesla Model 2, 2026. But what no one expected was that this affordable car, which was already attracting attention just for its price, would hide something even more radical under the hood. While the entire world still depends on old lithium batteries, Tesla is secretly testing two completely new technologies that could bury the explosive past of electric cars once and for all. Aluminum ion and sodium ion. Never before has a car had two such audacious bets at the same time. Elon Musk doesn't just want to deliver a cheap car, he wants to rewrite the rules of the industry. Again, the first bombshell comes from the aluminum ion side. A battery that promises to do what lithium never could, charge from 0 to 100% in less than 5 minutes. That's right, that's the time it takes for a coffee at the gas station. And it's not just fast. According to leaked data from Giga Texas, these aluminum cells can last up to 12,000 charge cycles. We're talking about more than 30 years of daily use before noticing any real loss of capacity. And you know that story about electric car fires? Forget it. Tests show that even when punctured, these batteries barely heat up and don't combust. But hold on, because sodium ion batteries are not far behind. While aluminum focuses on otherworldly performance, sodium plays the game of simplicity, safety, and low cost. Made basically of salt, yes, table salt. These batteries are extremely stable. Even when crushed, overcharged, or exposed to absurd temperatures, they withstand the heat without making headlines. And even with a lower energy density, they can easily run 300 to 350 miles on a single charge. That's enough for someone who commutes to and from work every day without stress. The difference in approach between the two is clear. Aluminum ion is the elite athlete. It runs faster, endures more, and delivers more. Sodium ion, on the other hand, is the honest worker. It's not the fastest, but it's reliable, cheap, and doesn't cause headaches. And that's exactly what makes Tesla's move so intriguing. Instead of betting everything on just one chemical, Elon Musk decided to pursue two paths simultaneously. It's like saying, you want power? I have it. You want a low price? I have that too. And then the customer chooses what best suits their life. Incidentally, it's curious how this dual approach also solves a major geopolitical problem. Everyone knows that China dominates the lithium supply chain, from mining to refining. And this has left American manufacturers, including Tesla itself, hostage to fluctuating prices and logistical bottlenecks. With aluminum and sodium, Musk escapes this trap. Both materials are abundant in the United States. Arkansas, Texas, and Georgia have giant bauxite reserves. And sodium? Just look at the sea or the salt deposits. Independence has never seemed so feasible. And there's more. Both chemistries also address, each in its own way, the long-standing concern about the environment. Aluminum ion batteries use ionic liquid electrolyte, which is neither flammable nor toxic, unlike the organic solvents used in lithium. Sodium ion batteries, on the other hand, do not depend on heavy metals such as cobalt or nickel which cause serious environmental and social impacts. Furthermore, Tesla is already testing recycling processes for aluminum, which could further reduce production costs and industrial waste. Another noteworthy feature is how these batteries handle the climate. In recent tests, sodium ion cells maintained 93% efficiency even at 20 to 100 and lost less than 10% at 60 to Asofui. This means the car performs well in both the Canadian winter and the sweltering Texas heat. Aluminum ion batteries, on the other hand, stood out for withstanding extremely high internal temperatures without collapsing, which could eliminate the need for complex and heavy cooling systems, simplifying assembly and further reducing the final cost. What scares Tesla's competitors the most isn't just the fact that Elon Musk is testing two new batteries simultaneously. It's what that means for the final price of the Model 2. Because it's not just about energy efficiency or improved safety, it's about breaking a psychological barrier 
that has prevented millions of people from entering the world of electric cars for years, the price. Today, the average price of an EV in the United States is around $55,000. With the new chemistries, that number could simply plummet to an unprecedented level. Lithium batteries currently used cost, on average, between U7,000 dollars and U8,000 dollars per car. This represents almost 40% of the total vehicle value. Now imagine replacing that with a sodium ion battery that costs only $1,700 to produce, or with one made of recycled aluminum, which with volume and scale can cost us twice hours $400. This difference of thousands of dollars completely changes Tesla's cost equation. And of course, the consumers as well. This is what allows us to dream of a Tesla Model 2 costing use $19,000 or even less with the traditional end-of-quarter discounts that the company usually applies. And we're not talking about a stripped-down featureless EV. Musk has already made it clear that he wants to deliver the Model 2 with the new FSD 14, optional autonomous driving, and an efficient architecture that allows a car to be manufactured every 15 seconds. This production speed combined with a low-cost battery is what could make the impossible possible. A Tesla cheaper than a brand new Corolla. And that's no exaggeration. According to market analysts, with tax incentives and factory discounts, an American could put a Model 2 in their garage for just you 17 $500. This changes everything. It ceases to be a niche car and becomes a mass market car. That old phrase of Elon's, accelerating the transition to sustainable energy, has never had more weight. Because at this price, the transition becomes accessible and the timing is perfect. After all, while most manufacturers are still struggling with prototypes or depend on the Chinese supply chain, Tesla is already finalizing its pilot line of sodium batteries in Nevada and aluminum batteries in Giga, Texas. And this with its own resources, without depending on suppliers who charge high prices or delay deliveries. Another point that makes everything even more real is the vertical integration strategy that Tesla is implementing. Instead of relying on lithium mines in South America or cobalt in Congo, Musk is betting on local raw materials, such as bauxite and industrial salt. The United States has gigantic reserves of these materials, which guarantees not only strategic independence, but also reduced taxes, logistical costs, and exchange rate volatility. This is what allows Tesla to cut costs where other manufacturers don't even have room to breathe. And that's not all. Tesla also plans to use recycled aluminum for the new batteries, especially in models sold in the United States. This not only further reduces the cost of the material, which could drop to $2,400 per pack, but also improves the company's environmental image, putting it back in the lead in sustainability. While rivals are still fighting for ESG certifications, Tesla delivers concrete results. Low cost, low environmental impact, and high efficiency. These numbers are striking, but what's most interesting is the logic behind them. It's not just a one-off reduction, it's a ripple effect. With a battery that costs less, the car costs less. This attracts more customers. With more volume, the cost of production falls even further. With more local production, less taxes. With fewer critical components, fewer recalls. And with less complexity, more profit margin. In the end, it's a virtuous cycle that no traditional automaker can replicate overnight. Now that the Model 2 is about to break the US $20,000 barrier, the question many people are asking is, will this car deliver a good driving experience even with a cheaper battery? And that's where Tesla's move gets even more interesting. Because instead of trying to force a single battery for all types of use, the company decided to divide the mission. Those seeking power and long trips can choose the aluminum ion version. Those who want a car for everyday urban use without complications can opt for the sodium ion battery. It's as if each battery has a different personality and the owner chooses which one best suits their lifestyle. Aluminum ion is almost a monster of durability. 
It maintains stable power delivery even with the charge below 20%, which is perfect for those who drive long distances or need to tackle hills and highways with constant acceleration. Tesla's internal tests showed that, after more than 400,000 kilometers, driving at 120 km to my reach, the aluminum batteries still retained more than 85% of their original capacity. This means not only fewer stops to charge, but also more years of use without loss of performance. While sodium ion batteries have a shorter range, they were designed with a different purpose in mind. They are excellent for urban environments where distances are short, traffic is constant, and charging can be done overnight without rushing. Their resistance to extreme temperatures is a significant advantage. In cold or very hot regions, where lithium batteries often struggle, sodium batteries remain stable. This makes this type of battery ideal for cities in the northern US, Europe, or even arid and desert regions. Another point that clearly differentiates the two models is the charging time. While the aluminum ion battery can be fully charged in just 5 to 10 minutes, the sodium ion battery takes 15 to 20 minutes to reach 80% capacity. Even so, this time is much faster than the typical 30 to 40 minutes for lithium batteries. In other words, neither option leaves the driver waiting too long, but the aluminum battery is clearly designed for those who spend a lot of time on the road and want to minimize stops at superchargers. In practice, Tesla is proposing a new way to choose a car. Instead of focusing solely on color, finish, or engine power, users can now choose which battery chemistry makes the most sense for their routine. It's like choosing between a diesel or gasoline car in the past, but with the benefit that both options are cleaner, safer, and cheaper. And most importantly, neither depends on rare materials or materials mined under precarious conditions such as cobalt. In terms of drivability, tests have already shown that cars with aluminum batteries maintain strong acceleration even with low charge, which is great for overtaking or acceleration. Sodium batteries, on the other hand, may experience a slight drop in performance when the charge is below 30%, something around a 10 to 15% reduction in acceleration power. Nothing that hinders daily use, but it's a difference felt by those accustomed to quick responses when pressing the accelerator. When it comes to electric cars, one of the biggest public concerns has always been safety. After all, images of vehicles catching fire due to battery failures have been circulating for a long time. But in the case of the 2026 Model 2, this is about to change radically. Both aluminum ion and sodium ion represent a gigantic leap in safety compared to the old lithium. And the most surprising thing is that each of these new chemistries offers this protection in a different way, almost like two distinct yet equally reliable shields. Sodium ion batteries, for example, are incredibly chemically stable. This means that even when overcharged, crushed, or punctured, they won't catch fire. In extreme tests conducted in China and the US, engineers simulated collisions, short circuits, and even direct exposure to fire, and no combustion occurred. Furthermore, sodium doesn't form those dangerous structures called dendrites, which in lithium batteries can traverse the cell and cause fatal short circuits. The result? a car that is much more tolerant to failures and accidents. Aluminum ion batteries offer an even more robust, almost bulletproof type of protection. Instead of using flammable solvents like lithium, they utilize an ionic liquid electrolyte that does not combust even at extremely high temperatures. In tests conducted at temperatures exceeding 200 degree, which would be fatal for any lithium battery, the aluminum packs only released a slight harmless vapor without any flame. This completely changes the game in cases of collision or thermal failure, as it eliminates the risk of thermal runaway, which is the main cause of fires in EVs. One interesting point is that, while lithium requires highly complex cooling systems with layer upon layer of safety features, both sodium and aluminum simplify this process. Sodium naturally maintains a controlled temperature, even in extreme climates. Aluminum, on the other hand, 
because it doesn't heat up like lithium, doesn't need as many additional components to remain safe. This not only reduces the risk of failures, but also decreases the weight, cost, and complexity of assembling the car. It's worth remembering that most fires in electric cars don't start with a major impact, but with small internal faults that go unnoticed until it's too late. Poorly sealed lithium batteries exposed to moisture or subjected to small charge variations can generate dangerous reactions over time. Aluminum and sodium were designed precisely to be more tolerant of neglect or wear. It's as if they were more chemically relaxed, which is great for real life, where not everything happens as it does in laboratories. Now, if the issue is water exposure, such as floods, heavy rain, or careless washing, sodium batteries have a slight advantage. They react less with moisture and can remain submerged for hours before any reaction occurs. Aluminum, on the other hand, requires more careful sealing, as direct contact with water can generate hydrogen gas, albeit in small quantities. The good news is that Tesla is using sealed modules with an IP68 standard, which guarantees resistance to water and dust even in extreme situations. Despite all these advancements, the journey to put aluminum ion and sodium ion batteries inside the Tesla Model 2 wasn't exactly simple. On the contrary, it required a marathon of tests, adjustments, and bold decisions on Tesla's part. Today, sodium ion batteries are practically ready for mass production. With field tests completed in January 2026 and manufacturing starting in March, directly from the Gigafactory Nevada. This agility was only possible because sodium, besides being cheap and abundant, adapts well to existing production lines. With small changes to the processes, Tesla managed to adapt its structure without having to start from scratch. Sodium ion technology is already used in smaller scale applications by companies in China and Europe, primarily in stationary devices and small vehicles. This gave Tesla a solid foundation to scale production rapidly. With readily available raw materials and a less demanding manufacturing process, this battery became the ideal candidate for the first batches of Model 2 vehicles aimed at the urban market. It's no wonder the company plans to equip entry-level versions of the car with this technology, especially in the United States and emerging markets like India and Latin America. The scenario changes somewhat when we talk about aluminum ion. Although performance and safety tests have been surprising, this battery still requires special care in manufacturing. Its sensitivity to humidity and the need for 100% dry environments make the assembly process more delicate. Even so, Tesla has moved forward with the pilot line at Giga Texas, with the start of experimental production scheduled for November 2025. Elon Musk doesn't want to wait any longer. He knows that if he manages to master large-scale production, aluminum ion could be the ultimate game changer in the electric vehicle sector. Tesla's secret to accelerating all of this lies in what they call vertically integrated engineering. While other automakers need to go through several layers of approval and suppliers to implement a new battery, Tesla directly connects its design lab to the factory floor. This allows a new cell approved in the lab to be reproduced on the assembly line in less than seven months something that would take years at a traditional automaker. This integration is what is allowing Tesla to skip steps and bring 2026 closer to what seemed to be a plan for 2030. Furthermore, the company is betting heavily on the complete automation of production, with robots handling assembly processes with ultra-high precision. This not only increases productivity,